Now, the ongoing debate over the ballooning wage bill has rekindled conversations over Kenya's public debt accumulation. As it stands, Kenya owes 1.9 trillion shillings in debt. But did you know that with this debt comes your obligation as a Kenyan to contribute to the debt settlement? Betty Kialo explains. <coughs> It's a great day for Grace Wanjiko and her husband Mwangi Gitao. In a few minutes, they will be leaving Pumwani Hospital with their bundle of joy tightly wrapped in their arms. Their newborn is just two days old and still nameless. The joy on their faces is undeniable, but at the back of their minds, a haunting reality hangs loose. <laughs> The newborn's father, who is a public service vehicle driver, tells us that life used to be bearable years ago. But now, a new day comes with new financial expectations. However, apart from the burdening cost of leaving, another reality of the ballooning wage bill and enormous debt levels poses an even grimmer reality for the little one, his parents, and all Kenyans. According to economic analysts, Kenya's debt level is at 1.9 trillion shillings. This means that every Kenyan, including this newborn, are born into debt and thereafter live in debt until death. With the 1.9 trillion shilling debt accumulation and a population of about 40 million, every Kenyan, including you and I, owe the government at least 48,000 shillings that is supposed to be payable every month. The average Kenyan, uh, the amount of money that's available to the average Kenyan, what we call the GDP, the total income that a person earns in a whole year, is just about 77, 78,000 shillings. So that means that for all the amount of money that is earned in a year, 48, if government uh, took out 48, shillings, you'd have to live on 30,000. According to experts, developing countries like Kenya would need loans from donors for development. However, misappropriation of funds has forced Kenyans to bear the burden of paying for monetary scandals like the Anglo leasing and golden bug that are part of the 1.9 trillion debt. So the problem is not really the debt. The problem is, uh, what are we leaving in terms of a foundation for those who come after this generation to be able to pay. That's one. Two, what burden are you giving the person who's working today? And the person who's working today is paying quite a bit of, uh, of money in terms of their taxes for that debt to be extinguished. With the government trying to devise ways of containing the huge wage bill and controlling debt levels, the burden of the two will continue to haunt many Kenyan pockets for years to come. Betty Kialo, KTN.